Megan, please. Megan, you're still in the tournament. That's that's what you want to be at this time of year. Just talk a little bit about the challenge of going up against Oklahoma in Oklahoma City for you guys. Um, it's just going to be like us playing at our home. You know, they're going to have the advantage of, you know, having their fans there. But I think no matter where we play, we just have to go out there and play hard. A little bit closer to your home state of Texas. Do you expect to have some family and friends make the trip over? I do. I expect about 15 to 20 people that being there. So we'll see what happens. But no matter, what's who, no matter who's out there in the stands, I just got to go out there and do what I can to help the team win. What's about yes. eight hours away or how far? I think far it's like seven hours. Yeah, sometimes that can put a little bit more pressure on a player when you've got family and friends there. You've dealt with it being in the state of Texas, though. You think you're prepared for it, or you could sort of block that out and just focus on Oklahoma? It's all a mental thing, and I think, you know, when I keep my mind stayed on the prize, I mean, and just go out there and play hard, I think anything is possible. In the post-game press conference, or not press conference, actually, the locker room talk, I heard that Holly, you know, say, no one believed that we were going to be here, and now mm -hmm. we're here. Would it be a disappointment? to it end even though even though no one even thought you guys would be in the Sweet 16? It would be a disappointment, but then at the same time, it would be a lesson learned. But I have faith in our team. I have faith in, you know, in myself and the rest of my teammates. So I just think that, you know, we go out there and we play hard. We play Tennessee basketball. I mean, we'll come out with another W and not just go out there, be intimidated, just continue to play hard. Megan, did you think that? I mean, what, 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 I mean, what's your thoughts about being in the Sweet 16? Did you, did you expect this for your team? I mean, and it, I feel like with me, I have a lot of faith in, you know, in myself and what this team can do. And um, I put my faith and my trust in God. And, you know, if anything happens, you know, it's all for his glory. And I think that, you know, we, we've proved ourselves, you know, time and time again and earlier in the season. And I think, you know, all the adversity that we face has set us up for, you know, to succeed. So, I mean, no matter what happens, I mean, either way, it's going to be a lesson learned and I'm going to be happy no matter what. But I want to get the W for sure. These three teams here, other teams here, well, all four of them are, all, are kind of from the power conferences. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much do you feel like the the SEC season has, has enabled you, the games that you've had, enabled you to get to this point? Because there's three other teams from your league still playing right now. Yeah, I mean, the SEC is always one of the toughest conferences that we have in, you know, in the country. And I think um, every team, you know, gives their 110%. And I feel like, you know, we're one of those teams that no matter what, when the adversity hits, we stick together. And I think if we continue to do that, and uh, just use the you know physicality that we face in the SEC and uh, work towards that. I think you know we'll be just fine. Besides that physicality, what other specific things about playing SEC teams do you think maybe has has helped this team get? I think just the fast tempo, you know, and uh, being able to run up and down the floor. You know, a lot of other teams that play in different conferences like to slow things down, but we like to get things going and set the tempo earlier on in the game. And I think when we do that and we control the tempo and how we you know expect each other to play, we. Anything is possible. What do you guys know about Oklahoma? Um, as well, for me, I, I know that they have a couple of shooters. I know a lot about Ellenberg. I've uh, Aaron Ellenberg. I've played with her, played against her, and everything like that. But she's a great player, and I think if we, you know, she's the head of the snake, and I think if we uh, take her down, I mean, we should be fine. You've got two of the highest scoring teams in the country playing each other. I mean, how important is defense going to be to kind of determine the outcome Sunday? It'll be, it'll be very important, and I think, you know, they have so many different weapons. They're such a very good team, but I think that um, if we can just focus on the little things and do what we do best, which is the defense and rebounding in, uh, we should be just fine. Even though you're playing in Oklahoma City against Oklahoma, I imagine that there'll be a lot of Lady Vol fans there, almost as many maybe as Oklahoma. Talk, can you talk a bit about the passion of Lady Vol fans and how much you expect them to show up this, this week? Oh, I mean, our fans are phenomenal, and I think, you know, when we have that, you know, that aura of, you know, the Tennessee Volunteers, no matter where we go, I mean, it gives us another advantage, you know, just to go out there and play hard, you know, represent what's on our chest and what's on our back, and uh, uh, just make sure you, you stay, stay focused. Megan, what has, uh, how do you put this season in perspective versus the last two years? I mean, you said the other night, this is your third trip to the Sweet 16, yeah. but how is this year different than the previous two? It's, I mean, this team is a lot more hungry. I mean, there's so many things that, you know, we're capable of doing, and I feel like when everybody goes out there and does their job and uh, knows their role out there on the floor, I mean, and we bring that together cohesively, I mean, anything can happen. With all Americans on the previous, you, you know, on the previous teams, everyone maybe expected you guys to go to the Final Fours and go to the Sweet 16 or mm -hmm. or whatever. But nobody probably expected this team to be here. So is it maybe a sweeter year for you guys? Yeah, and I think right now we're all diamond in the rough. You know, we, we're just one of those teams that, you know, no matter what, don't, not everybody knows our weapons. And at any point in time, we could come out at any time. So um, I think if we just bring out those weapons at any point in time and uh, show everybody what we're worth and what we're capable of, I think anything is possible. Megan, have you watched any other tournament games? Have you watched any of the other teams in, in terms of 
this tournament? So. I pretty much, like yesterday, I, I was literally glued to the TV. Me and Sierra were talking about that earlier, and I was watching every team. I was watching, you know, how they handle ball pressure and things like that. And um, I feel like, you know, any, like I said, I always say anything is possible, you know, with faith in each other, faith in the system, and faith in what we can do. I think anything is possible. What, well, anyone, final question. Anyone, any impressions, any teams or players or anything make the, make the biggest impression? Right I mean, I mean, a lot, all the teams impress me. I mean, they're, they're always going to give their best in the NCAA tournament. So um, anything, anything can happen. You know, somebody could fall, somebody could succeed that we didn't think. But um, every team has impressed me because they're going to give the 110%.